Next, we will go to alarm types. This is under security types and alarm types. Uh, the alarm type screen will show you the characteristics of uh, 31 alarm types which can be assigned to any of the zone types in the system, the alarm types which are applied in comfort. The <coughs> select any of the alarm types and you will see on the right hand side the alarm type properties. You can resize the window again uh, to, your, uh, to, your, to your requirements. <coughs> So the alarm type properties, you can see there's a name, it's basically a label for the alarm, and the dial out parameter. So if you set no, this uh, alarm type as an intruder will not dial out to, to anybody. So that's normally not what you want for an intruder alarm. Set the dial to on, and from there you can select which of the eight telephone numbers you will need, to, you will ask the system to dial out to. So for example, uh, I just wanted to dial to uh, one and two. So this, when the alarm, intruder alarm occurs, it will dial to the telephone numbers 1 and 2 which are programmed in the system. Dial delay, uh, set it as no, uh, because that's not normally used. Response name is a very useful feature because uh, when an alarm occurs, you can, you can assign a response to, to this alarm. For example, uh, I can turn on output one on right so to in the intruder alarm so in the intruder alarm occurs you can you can uh, turn on the output or if you want you can add a new response uh, say turn on all the lights right and turn on all the lights and uh, this allows you to to program uh, you know to program the action how to turn on all the lights so by this way, we have assigned the uh, response called turn on all the lights to the intruder alarm. Strobe here uh, determines whether the strobe is turned on, on uh, for this alarm. So the intruder alarm normally turns on the strobe until the system is disarmed. You can also select a siren type out of the 20 different siren types in the system. So the intruder alarm is a, is, a, is, a, is a typical siren type for this. Siren delay, leave it as no. Alarm state is um, an option of three, uh, four different types of alarm. Basically, they are priority of the alarm. First of all, there's an idle alarm. Idle alarm is for uh, those non-alarm alarms, as you may call it, like uh, system is armed or the system is disarmed. They are considered alarms, but uh, they are idle state, which means they are not high priority, but it's uh, something to be... Uh, informed to the CMS, the Central Monitoring Station, or by SMS. Trouble alarm state is for system troubles, that is uh, zone trouble, open and short, um, <coughs> low battery, uh, power failure or AC failure, uh, communications failures. These are all considered alarms of a trouble in a trouble state. Alert state alarms are for entry alert where the front door is open or the entry door is open when the system is armed uh, so it, you have uh, you have uh, 30 seconds in order to disarm the alarm this is an alert state alert state is also caused by alert zones uh, alert zones uh, remember that you need to trigger two different alert zones in order to cause a verified intruder alarm so once an, a zone goes into alert then that triggers the alert state alarm and finally, the alarm state is a full alarm, which is used for intruder alarm, panic, fire, and all these high priority alarms. The report and restore code are used for the central monitoring station or CMS dial out. So you normally leave this alone. These are set for uh, report and restore codes in the contact ID um, format. And so it's a class code. So for alarm types, you normally don't change any of the parameters here except for the dial out because you need to tell the system whether to dial out or and what telephone numbers what combination of telephone numbers to dial out for this particular alarm as an example of um, a idle state alarm you see the disarm alarm here number 17 uh, it's by default it doesn't dial out and there are no dial in indices and there's a no response Okay, um, so 
if you want to dial out to inform the central monitoring station, then you will set this uh, dial out on and the and the uh, dial indexes for the central monitoring station. And you can also uh, you can also uh, uh, specify or create a response in order to let's say turn on the lights if it is night time, right? When you disarm the system. And similarly, when you arm the system, it's also an alarm type. So the alarm type can also dial out to your specified telephone numbers and you can create an alarm uh, response which is turn off all the lights and uh, air conditioning in the house or turn down the heating in the house when you arm it to away mode. Right, so that's the uh, use of the alarm types in the system. Now going to uh, as I said, the every every uh, alarm type you can specify what are the telephone numbers to dial to. To to do this, you go to security phone numbers, and you can see there are eight telephone numbers which you can specify a phone type and a phone number. The name is to just to uh, remind uh, us of who it is uh, calling to. The phone type you can select between voice none, which is uh, there's it won't dial out for this telephone number. Voice is uh, any mobile phone, and you can enter your telephone number here. So we can enter another telephone or a person to dial out to. So we can also select uh, voice, pager, and CMS. CMS is, stands for Central Monitoring Station. Central Monitoring Station is a um, is a is a. Uh, station which uh, monitors your alarms and calls the police to uh, attend to the alarm and CMS can only be set to, to types 1 and 2 pager is no longer used it's no longer supported in the new comfort firmware so its uh, presence here is for supporting of old comfort uh, systems or old firmware there's also another choice SMS which will appear if you have a UCM GSM if you have a UCM GSM uh, defined in your system, you'll be able to select the SMS so you can send an SMS for this particular uh, phone type. To do that, go to modules and UCMs. You see that we have two UCMs. One is a general, one is a CBUS. Uh, I want to add one more UCM. And uh, this it would be a GSM type, UCM GSM. So as a, I will select GSM here and uh, what this is that the, it's got an alphanumeric ID is part of the SMS or the text message which which appears on the message uh, to tell you where the system is coming where the alarm is coming from so SciTech office let's say so you will see SciTech office on the uh, on the text message go back to phone types phone numbers and you can see that uh, I can add a phone type called SMS which was not there before so you can just type in your telephone number here and if your alar any alarm type specifies to dial to phone number 2 it will send a text message uh, with the information the alphanumeric ID which is SciTech office in, the, uh, in our case and the alarm type and the zone number which is triggered All right so that is programming of the telephone numbers